Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This very short video is on the request of a student. And here we'll be solving end chapter question 9 from chapter 2, which relates to series diode configuration. Okay, so these are the two questions, question A, or part A and part B. We have to determine the voltage V01, which is here and here, and also the output voltage V02. So the first one, you can see there is a 12 volt battery. So I prefer to connect a battery like this. So this is more convenient for me. And now you can see that this positive terminal of the battery is connected to the positive end of the diode. So this will become forward bias. And similarly, this positive is connected to the positive of the diode here. Or you can say that the negative is connected to the negative of the diode. So this will also make this a gallium arsenide diode forward bias. We will replace the diodes with, with the equivalent batteries, so like here. And now we are ready to find V01. We just write V01 in more clear terms like this. So this here is V01. And now in solving the, this loop, we can find uh, V01. So by KVL equation, we start from here, negative 12 plus 0 0.7 plus V01 equals 0. And therefore, V01 is equal to 11.3 volt. Now, V2 is very simple, V02, because whatever is the voltage here, that will appear across the output. So we can straight away from the figure, we can write that V02 is 1.2 volt. Remember this 1.2 volt is for the gallium arsenide. The part B is we have a germanium diode and a silicon diode and a negative supply. So here also we connect a negative 10 volt supply with the circuit. And now you can see this negative touching the positive of germanium. Therefore, this will become a reverse bias open circuit. And you can say that the positive going from here is, will make the silicon diode forward bias. So our equivalent circuit will look like this. This is open circuit. This will replace a 0 0.7 volt battery. And this is the circuit. Now you can see because of the open circuit, no current can flow through this circuit. Therefore, the output voltage V0 will be V01 will be 0. And similarly, since no current is flowing here, therefore V02 will also be zero. Since the circuit is open, no current will flow, hence V01 is zero volt. And similarly, and also because no current is flowing, hence the voltage across 3.3 K resistor will also be zero. So this is the answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.